Hey everybody, welcome back to House Podcasts. As today we are with Lego Madness. Say hello. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about, you guess, Lego. So basically, we're just going to be talking about Lego. And obviously, you can go and subscribe to Lego Madness's channel. It should be linked in the description. And we're going to get going now. And don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn notifications on if you do enjoy, as we do these videos every Monday. And if you want to be in the podcast, drop a comment. Right then, so we're going to start off. What is your favourite modular? My favourite modular? Um, the brick bank, probably, because I just love the detail on it. And it has the soap and suds, like, laundrette next to it. And it's just really cool. Ah, okay. So it's, like, really dope. Mm. Is it big? Yeah, and it has a link to the police station as well, with the soap and suds billboard on the side. So I'm guessing that's in your Lego city, then? Yep. Oh, very nice. So, what is your favourite theme? My favourite Lego theme? Um, probably City, because yeah. there's just a load of awesome sets in there. I like the minifigure series as well, they're also quite good. But yeah, probably Lego City. Sounds very nice, yeah. Obviously, I have had Lego in the past, and I, I'm on top of my wardrobe, actually. I have, like, a Lego helicopter thing. It's, like, orange. Is that, like, Arctic, I think? Mm. I don't know, but I've got like police and like the shell, little shell van and everything. Um, mm. Right then, your top three yellow Lego YouTubers. Top three Lego YouTubers. Mm. Top one probably Brick in it. Um, Brick. Second probably Just Too Good, and then Brixie. I will have to check them out. So, why do you like them? Um, the, I love I love the Lego cities. Um, their video quality is amazing, and yeah, it's just amazing channels, really. That's very good. I will have to check them out after we've recorded this, because I am I am into Lego. Like I haven't played mm. it in a while, but like I feel like if I was gonna get back into it, I'd start start I'd have to start watching things again. So, yeah. how is your Lego city doing? Oh yeah, it's doing all right at the minute. Um, since the last city update, I have made a few changes. Um. As you would have seen, um, since the city update before last, I added a beach, and this time I've added a few more things like fences. But you'll see that in the next month's city update. Yeah, that sounds very nice. Can't wait for that one. And actually, how big is your Lego city now? Is it getting bigger as you go along? Is it expanding? You know what I mean? Well, it hasn't expanded since the last city update. It's still the same size, um, because there's not as much room in there now. But um, I think it's about 25 base plates, probably, wow, at the max. That is big. Mm. Currently, that is quite amazing. Yeah. Are you planning to make it bigger in the future? Um, As and when I can, yes. Um, But it's just space, really. Yeah, like, I guess it does consider. take up a lot of space, like, mm. just in general. Yeah. Um. If you do have any Lego video games or just games, what is your favourite? Um, probably Lego City Undercover, I think it's called, on Nintendo Switch. I don't know if you can oh. play it elsewhere. That's a really good game. Yeah, I was going to say, I have yeah. like, oh, what is it? So I think it's on Xbox 360, taking back to the old days. Um, I had like, oh, I forgot what it's called now. I think it's like a Lego game where you have to, oh, I forgot, but. I will have to do a. I'll have to do a video on that one day. I want to go back to the 360 and record mm. videos on that because, like, I have quite a lot of Lego games, like Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I think. Mm. Yeah. That one's that one's quite a cool one. What is mm. your favorite video on your channel currently? My favorite video on my channel, um, probably the previous Lego City update because I I really like the editing on that, especially um in the B roll at the end where. Uh, it it when I did the camera angle and it just went to the beat of the song, which was really ah, cool. Yeah, mm. yeah, that sounds really cool. I have actually watched that. Yeah. So, if you were gonna become famous and one of your videos becomes really good, what would the first thing you're gonna do, like the first video kind of thing? What would you do? The first video, um, if I hadn't done a face reveal sort of thing already, that would probably be one of the first things. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, I'm not really sure. I'd probably just stick to 
usual videos because that's what people have subscribed for. So that's probably what yeah, I would. That is, that's probably the same thing I'd do. Yeah, I'd probably. I think I'd do a thank you video, but that will probably the only. Yeah, thing what is that? Mm. But I don't want to make it such a big fuss kind of thing. Mm. Have you ever actually ordered Lego for a video and it not come through? Bit of a random one, but I thought. Um, no, not yet. Um, usually I would buy it at the shop. Sometimes I would get it um online. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, because of the lockdown, that could have mm. been a problem, but obviously yeah. it wasn't, so that's, that's really good, I guess. Mm-hmm. What is the most time you spent on a video, and did you like it? Most time I spent on a video, um, it was probably the minifigure opening, um, when I did a lot of series minifigures openings, uh, like in one video. Um, it, it took a, a long time to film and edit, but it wasn't the best video because it was quite dark. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. That's the thing. I hate, I don't like that when you know when you record a video, you spend so much time on it, and then you mm. just, it's just annoying because like I when you, you can... forget to turn on the light. That's what yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like I've recorded videos. Like I've made the mistake of recording them on the front way before, and the quality just isn't as good as it. So you need to kind yeah, of yeah. And the, the trouble more. is with Lego, if you're opening the set on camera. If you me- mess up, then there's not really any ch- chance to go back. That's why I like to open them, build them off camera, so that I don't mess up, and then I will review them after rather yeah, than speak. Yeah, review. Yeah, mm. that sounds very good. And finally, last but not least, do you have any sneak peeks of any videos to come? Have you got any sets waiting? or? Um, I have three sets waiting right behind me, actually. The Year of the Ox promo. Uh, the Tuk Tuk and the Lego Video Party Llama Beatbox. Oh, right. there you soon. go, guys. If you are watching mm-hmm. from Liam's channel or you are subscribed to Liam, there's some uh, very, very epic sneak peeks that you will only get over here on his podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is. I'm guessing Year of the Ox is a thing throughout everything, then, because I there's a set on Call of Duty, like not a set, but like a pack on Call of Duty called Year of the Ox. Mm, so I'm yeah. guessing it's it must be a thing for everything. Mm. Right, guys, it's been very nice having you on, Liam. I do appreciate you coming on. And it's been very having me. No problem. It's been very nice speaking, and I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy this and did learn anything new about Lego, then don't forget to drop me a comment and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, HasCarrot. And Liam, what's your Instagram gone? Uh, Lego Madness YT. Go follow Liam, get him to 200 followers over there. So, yeah, guys, I really did hope you enjoy, and I'll see you, Legends, in the next one. Peace.